They don't need the whole thing. They just um, don't. We have to have two recordings. She's just doing this for school. I'm in school. You're not going to have some type of recording. But um, yeah, Frank, Fraud, waste, and abuse. Of course, what is fraud? Fraud is a, an intentional distortion of the truth. It's an attempt to obtain something of value that does not have a result in monetary loss. So basically, we did this PL yesterday with the county basically because a lot of schools have been having problems with budget, folks falsifying doc, uh, documents, signing in, and they never had to, they never was on the roster, adding people to the roster when they were not supposed to be on it. We can't have none of that this year, so they made everybody in the county do a professional development on uh, fraud abuse. Um, who commits fraud involving educational funds? Is the school employees, officials, you know, financial managers, instructors, lenders, lender services, guarantee agencies, award recipients, grant, uh, grantees, and contractors, and educational employees, and others. So basically, um, when it comes to Documents you gotta have everything got dot all our eyes across all our teeth. We can't they we can't assume <coughs> nothing we gotta have, but make sure you make copies of everything because it will you know the last thing we wanna do is get all of it. For unnecessary reasons. Um, for all waste and abuse, education uh, program, for all generally involve a lie or someone uh, some concealment. Sometimes the cover up generates more crime than the underlying fraud itself and can be the basis of prosecution. Different um, what fraud includes it includes embezzlement, robbery, contract related fraud, kickbacks, extortion, obstruction of justice, obstruction of federal audit, and destruction of um, of records. It is our um, ethical responsibility to deter others from committing fraud and abuse, to protect the integrity of the federal, state, and local program, to avoid being a part of of fraudulent criminal activity and to reduce financial exposure under the False Claims Act. Um, as everybody knows, failure to report any type of fraud can, um, can be a felony. Whoever having knowledge of the fraud also could be considered, um, could get a felony as an accessory to it. So basically, you know, if you ain't doing the right thing, you know, if you're going to be absent, just call one of us. We have everything um, right because the last thing we want is somebody get locked up on some unnecessary food. You know? uh, we don't want none of that. Uh, anyone suspecting fraud, waste, or abuse involving the Department of Education funds should call the Inspector General hotline or write the Inspector General. Um, you can send an email to the um, Inspector General. The email is right there. You can take notes right there. Email down if you have to, and um, that's the number at the bottom, the 1 800 misuse. <laughs> yeah, if you get that serious, no call in, but try to come to us first. All right, <laughs> uh, trying to make this a smooth three weeks, you know, you don't want no problem, just everybody just show up and do what we got to do with you. Those are the quick power points. So Y'all got any questions? Any questions on anything? I got a few questions. Go ahead. When we posted our EOC grades, they kept posting as a final grade. So, do y'all know if that was I don't know if that changed. Mr. Gaines was working on that this morning because I know uh, some science department.